So they finally released FreeNAS 11.1-U3. It's available for update and stable. So this is an important update because of a really big annoyance, and I'm really happy they fixed. Now, this didn't seem to affect all the servers. It just affected a few of them, but one of those was mine, so it was an important update to me. And what FreeNAS 11.123 also has a very important update for Samba. So let's run through it real quick here. This is the bug, and I'll zoom in a little bit here. This is the bug that fixes the free NAS dash health warning that goes in via log messages. And if you're like me and you watch your logs looking for potential issues, you don't like a random uh, health warning that's not relevant going in there. And like I said, this didn't affect our Win servers, but for those that did, yes, this bug has been uh, quashed. There's, an in, there's a link in here. I'll leave these links in here to the uh, main update so you can read through this yourself. But yeah, this was a um, this was problematic. <laughs> we'll just say that. So I'm really happy that that's fixed. Now, the other things that are fixed are a couple CVEs in Samba. Now, the Samba ones aren't uh, devastating, but they're not good. It's a denial of service attack uh, on, on the RPC, but the one that's a little bit more worrying, and this is where I like to read the CVE rather than just uh, panic, is this is if you have Samba with a... DC configured, domain controller configured with the LDAP server. They found uh, basically a non-privileged user could change another user's password. Uh, it took a certain scenario for this to work. So yes, it's bad. Yes, we're happy they fixed it. Um, but not everyone runs this in that same format. But if you do, definitely patch it because this solves that problem. And of course, Samba should never be public facing. I'm going to throw that out there. Uh, it shouldn't be facing internet, but we know from Shodan scans it is. Um, so it should be an internal thing. But either way, once someone's in your network, that doesn't mean you should let down your guard and not have all these things patched, but the details are in there. Um, the last bug is uh, address already in use. I hadn't seen this one. Uh, prevent uh, address already in use by not using SO reuse address. Uh, I hadn't seen this bug before, so and it's I don't know why it's but uh, takes you to the login page for that. But uh, the update on FreeNAS, if you're not sure how to do it, pretty straightforward. You're going to go over here to System. Then you're going to go to Update. And uh, you can, as long as you're on the stable branch, unless you're feeling frisky and want to go to the nightlies, uh, you can go ahead and uh, jump on that. So that's where you go for the FreeNAS. Uh, update, pretty simple to update. It does take a little while. Uh, side note, in case you didn't know, this is the history of updates. Do check before you do the update on this right here. Uh, make sure you have enough room because you can have some problems there. And I'll give you an example because I think this has come up with some confusion. This is on reboot now. And you can say activate this if I want to roll back to the U2 version in case there's a problem. But I know the system works. I know there's not a problem. And you may have more in your history. Maybe you want to keep one or two versions. I generally just keep one previous version. But this is my demo machine, so I'll show you how you delete a version. So this is the active one. Don't mess with this. And we're going to go ahead and hit delete. And now we're only down to one. Now, if you've never deleted anything, you have the initial install and all of them down there. But you just want to make sure that you have for whatever you're using for your storage. A lot of people are using like a thumb drive, which is fine. Um, make sure you don't run out of room on it, and this is the easy way to do that. So uh, you can just go ahead and do a status of it or you know check it out, make sure it's working. But just before you do an update, make sure you have enough space for the update. Uh, just a little side note there. But that's it. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, the update worked. I didn't have any problems. Please be patient when it updates. It does take a little while because it has to download. It has to install it. And then if you watch the terminal while it's installing, um, you'll watch it go through and replace all the files and do all the stuff that it does. It takes a little while. Be patient. Uh, depends on the speed of your computer. But even on this uh, computer, which is a uh, Xeon X570 at 3 gigahertz with lots of cores, it still took about 10, 15 minutes to get the update done. So uh, your mileage may vary. If you have an older, slower system, be real patient with it. Uh, the U2 update took a little while as well. So just want to throw it out there. It is available. Uh, it does fix that Samba vulnerability, so get patching on there. Um, and so far, so good. I've patched a couple of machines that we have and haven't had any issues. Uh, I'll keep you posted, or I'll file a bug report if there's a problem. All right, thanks for watching. If you liked the content here, like and subscribe.